How's it going everyone? Well, it's been a little over six months since the last holster review and I said I wanted some time to actually use these, wear them, see what I thought, give you my final opinion on a holster. So as you can see, I've got a kind of double click put up here to the, the front runner for holsters. Uh, just want to let you guys know about them. Uh, it'll be important a little bit later in the video, but you guys want to check out a good holster company. Um, this is not a paid advertisement from them. It's just uh, the holster that I found pretty much to be the better one. So we'll come back to double click in a second. I just wanted you guys to be able to see the name. Well, about eight months ago or so, I uh, did a review and started off on the Gladius holster, which would be this one here. This particular Gladius uh, I've had since October of 2018. I've been using it so we can kind of get an idea of use on it. This is an outside the waistband adjustable Kydex holster. It is designed for the Steyr uh, A A1 model. Uh, you can put the L M and C into this one. I did not do an S since I don't have one. I would assume it would work except for uh, this holster would be way too big on the length side for the muzzle but I'm assuming you could get away with that. But for sure I use it with an M and an L and it works perfectly which I can show you. The This particular gun being a L40 A1. So. This is the caliber conversion, but that won't make any difference. But the A1 for the Gladius holster fits really well. Even after a year, we can see that the retention is still very good on it. It's picked up a little bit of slack, but that's to be determined. I haven't messed with the screws. It hasn't been any issue. And it even went through a range day being demoed for about eight hours. So multiple people got to use it, try it out, see what it, how it felt, and where it's set up at. Uh, this particular holster, the only drawback after having it for about eight months and doing all the demo work and, and using it, would be this uh, sweat guard. This particular sweat guard, if you're uh, on the larger size, it kind of gets a little jabby and pokey uh, here in the top. So the f placement when you're using it uh, is key. If if you really want to run this at 3 o'clock, uh, if you're larger like I am, you might need to adjust it a little bit front or back or, or drop the edge just so uh, this wing doesn't get you. The other thing I noticed with it is getting in and out of a vehicle. For some reason, this one really likes to find the seatbelt latch. I, I don't know why, but I don't know if it's just placement, the way I wear this one over uh, one of these others that I'm going to talk about, but this one always seems to find the seat belt. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be in with how I have to place it due to the sweat guard. Uh, I did not modify it or bend or do anything. I just kind of ended up living with it. So probably now after I get to do this video and, and really think about it, I believe I'm going to roll this edge, maybe take out half an inch. So that's with the Gladius. I mean, it's held up. No, no issues. I haven't broke any of the belt loops off or, you know, lost any of the retention screws. They've all stayed tight. I believe I've tightened it up one time on these after getting it where I wanted it. Uh, I think I might have not done it after moving them and just adjusting it. I did find one that was loose, but I think that was more me. But EDC wear, you know, for an outside the holster for the A1, uh, the Gladius is, is a pretty a pretty good holster. Uh, I know the company's based out of Georgia. I've actually talked to them a little bit. They're supposed to be doing one for an A2 um, here in the future, since the new A2 styres have come out, the MFs. But uh, sadly, this holster will not work with the new styre A2 pistol, which is here. The I'm, I do not know why. It does not wish to feed and go in. It stops right there. Now granted, the A2 does have kind of a different trigger trigger well uh, set up, but it doesn't even make it to that point. It, it stops 
literally at the ejection port and it just comes to a stop where the A1 goes in and jumps in you saw the slack that it had uh, here inside it goes to the same you know it just slides clean past this point and then latches so granted I did not expect when I bought this holster f to use it with the A2 but that was just something that I found in later testing. So if you're looking for a holster, you know, nice outside the waistband, uh, EDC, you can check out Gladius holsters. Steyr, I know, still has some, so you can buy them there, or you can buy them direct from the manufacturer. So that is that one. In doing with this holster review, I got in with double click. I've done some work with them in the past that was actually a test for one of his original uh, double click level 2 security holsters. Now this particular holster is not for a Steyr. This one here is actually built for an XD. But I wanted to show you this one first because this one actually came off a law enforcement officer and had been used for about three to five years of daily use. Then it went to competition and this holster has just seen a lot more time than what I could give one. So for a demonstration I wanted to show you this is what his originally looked like for these level two holsters. And you can tell after multiple years, you know, in a professional use, how well these holsters hold up. So that is that particular holster. Now, going into the actual one for the Steyr pistol, this one here was originally set up and built for an M model Steyr. Uh, this is a level 2 security holster, and the nice thing with uh, double click is this is the Safe Carry Ranger model. It is actually law, enfor law enforcement certified, Secret Service, I believe he's picked up uh, with other contract workers. So, I mean, for anybody that wants to use their Steyr in a professional capacity, this is the company uh, to get a holster. Uh, moving in, and this is the reason I kind of started the video off talking you know, you, you need to look at double click and keep that in mind. Uh, when we're going to talk about the A2, this is going to be the best option. So, there's this is his outside the waistband. And then this here is for an L model. And this is his appendix slash inside the waistband. Now, this particular holster, I actually called, custom ordered, told him exactly the, the level, the cant that I wanted, but it is adjustable. It was just built to my specs when I ordered it the first time, so I did not have to remove the sinew from the back, this nice hide style material. I have used this one probably 30% more than I've used the outside waistband. Um, my wife also gets to use this one, and she prefers this holster over all of them. All the edges are round, it's the heavy Kydex, but the best thing about double click holsters is the way that they're built. The new A2, you've already got a holster ready to go that works with the A1s and the A2s. This is his setup for, like I said, for the appendix. But for the L model, we've got no issues. You guys can, who are getting your A2 pistols, you've already got a holster. If you've ordered a double click holster, the A1, A2 model, there's no difference. He should be changing that, I believe, on his website to say that it works with both models. I've been testing it and trying it out, and I've had no issues. I would show it to you in this one, but f to be quite honest, this is for a M, and due to the length here for the safe carry action, if I stick the L model into it, it will go, but it is just extremely difficult, and it's really something that you would not do. But I have tested and used this, uh, the L model length holster, which has a different uh, length here for the safe carry, and it works perfectly. I've got no issues. The really nice thing with these holsters is this one here is about six months old, and as you can see, it's got no wear, no tear. The Kydex in it is just as thick, and all the edges are rolled and smoothed out. There are no sharp edges on these holsters. This particular one, since I've had it probably the longest at about eight and a half months or nine months now, this thing is just phenomenal. I, I can't believe I haven't beat this thing up yet. But 
this this is the holster. If you guys are looking for holsters for your Steyr pistols, uh, this would be the one I would recommend. I really do like my Gladius. Um, and there's certain situations, it's nice to have two different holsters or two different ways uh, to use one if you just need retention or do you need one for actual work? Do you want one for full concealment? Uh, it's nice to have the options, but if you can only have one, I go with the double click and I actually go with this inside the waistband. I prefer this holster over any of the other ones that I've played with and uh, used, you know, tr tried for competitions, tried at range days, uh, just did the test and, and wear on. This holster is the one I'm going to go for and they're all in the same price range. And what's the key selling point is if you have an A1 or A2, this open, just strictly retention holster without the safety, you can actually buy an L and you can run all four models of the A, the A1 all four sizes, and the uh, A2, you can run the full size, and when the M's come out, this holster will be compatible. So I find that this one being the best. Now with that, I had talked to Bob there at DoubleClick, who's the owner, and he sent me this for testing. And guys, I'm not real big into uh, a mag pouch, but I wanted to show this is his universal mag pouch. And they actually come in ones, and uh, I believe he actually has a double. But I wanted to show you in the Steyr mags, here's a 40 cal mag. It goes in. The retention of this is, is more than his holsters. Uh, you will have no problem if you wish to run this inverted or horizontal or you know straight up vertical. The way that this holster and uh, mag setup is done, it grabs. That's a 40 Steyr. Here's your A1 9mm mag. It's got the same type of retention. It grabs, works extremely well. Now to be a little bit different, this here is originally a Smith & Wesson M&P mag that's actually modified for a Steyr. There's your extended mag. Bites in, does the same. Has the same type of retention. The nice thing is, it does not matter if you put it in front to back. It had to pull it out. It bites. It doesn't matter which way you wish to run this. So if you're a southpaw or standard right, it does not matter. Here is a Springfield XD magazine. Now this one's set up. You know, as you can see, these are all double stack magazines but it works, it's a generic mag holder. So if you're looking for one to match up with a duty belt, this here's the really, really good way to go. You can actually order, I think that they were doing some combos or if you purchase or, you know, multiple items, there were some discounts. Also, if you're buying a Steyr holster from DoubleClick, uh, I'm a really good advocate for them. Uh, just let them know that you saw it here there are some promotional specials that change month to month, uh, depending on what you order and how and how you do it. That I'm uh, I'm doing my part and doing the testing. But here are some of their rigs and outfits. Hopefully, I can catch this on camera and you guys don't get a big glare. They've got shotgun holsters. There's the double mag pouch. They do 1911s. They even go up to the full size uh, AR mag, which I'm actually going to have to talk to him and see about getting some AUG mag holders made. So there's that. I think I actually have a nice bigger piece of advertisement. So hopefully here you guys go. You can get a little bit better picture from double click. Now these are all made in the U.S. out in Texas. They, if you want one custom ordered, something unique, you know, with a light or laser setup or RMR mount, you need a, a particular adjustment. You just need to tell them. Let them know what you've got and they'll make all the arrangements if, if they need to actually get your piece of equipment to make sure it fits but they'll do custom builds and work any way they can with you uh, all as you see all mine are in generic black they do offer some colors and some options but you'll just have to ask them at that time so those are my reviews i mean if, you, if you're looking for one granted these are the two best holsters that i have found between you know for the gladius and the double click but like I said, if you're going to pick one up, you're going to spend the money on a holster. Um, it's, it's not paid for. I'm not getting anything out of it. I'm just telling you guys, this is what I'm going to grab first. So there's that. I'll give you the information. I'll actually toss it up 
in the uh, credits for the video, and it'll also be in the link below. But there you go.